as you can see from out the door but as you can see there's been some substantial water damage here all of an air all of an air's come off and uh there's a, a crack in the ceiling here and it's all got filler all the way around here so i presume this is where most of the water came in but uh the doors are fine so i quite like the layout so i'm going to keep the doors and just change the, this front and we might have to, to do the underneath i'm not sure yet some screws oh, there's a good gap there as well big gap and uh i think it's leaked or it's perhaps i don't know it looks like it's leaked through this joint there's four joints in the caravan one here one the opposite side and then one above this so you can still see this is still slightly leaking but that's still wet someone's tried to repair this with chip rod um but and uh, use fablon fab fablon in here see the bubbles but this needs a new front as well it's gone there big bubble there it's all flimsy new front on this uh, good thing about this is that this is solid so I should be able to take a pattern off this to um, replace this bit here that's completely gone uh, you can see the water stain down there and also there's a water there's a joint there and exactly the opposite that and it's all stained there as well but the doors are okay and this front's front sound so nothing's got through that um, but the rest of the van um, it's got a a caravan electric unit this doesn't work the only thing that works on it is this switch here for the 12 for the 12 volt electrics the rest of it doesn't work this e this cascade eater it, it's all come out of a caravan and um and i believe that this is the that plugs into the cascade caravan and that's the control panel and that's the electrics for it so i'm hoping that's not i'm hoping that's not live but this is for the cascade caravan the uh, cascade sorry cascade eater so what yeah, yeah, there's an electric point there that's coming in and it looks like it's an afterthought there's a little bit of water there i'm not sure where this goes but I need to check that out it looks like it's had a bit of water ingress in the bottom there but this it's not too bad it's been loads of water on top of this at some point and these are the only cushions the original cushions left for the van um yeah yeah there's a bit of water been in here but i think that's come down here that's come down off that joint up there down there it's stained this because this is fablon and it's come down here and into here and it's absolutely wrecked this it's absolutely wrecked this but it's all right the eater that works that's all been checked and that works and this is that caravan electrics again this is the um, i said the only thing that actually works is this 240 so this 12 volt on off switch um that's the through for the eater and there's a table there i don't know what that's for because there's no you need one of these on in the floor and we haven't got one so don't know what that's about 
onto the bathroom. Okay, lights, yeah, they work. That works. And toilet works. Toilets got all the instructions. Uh, then there's a lever here, I believe. That opens that. Yeah, that shuts that. That's the, the wheel well in there, and that's, that's the electrics. Don't know what they're for. What's it? That must be the pump. That's the electrics for the pump. I need tidying up. But all in all, it's not in bad condition. It's got a drain plug in, so if you use this for a, a wash, it's got somewhere, if you're a body wash, it's got somewhere for the water to run out. Now, there's no shower, actually there's no hot water fitted to this caravan. Okay, now that's the electric hookup, 25 metres, which was um, that came with a van, which was good. Now, all these cupboards are double skinned. That's a false bottom to accommodate the wires for these electrics. That works. That works. That works. And that works, that's okay. That works. That side works, so we're doing well. Okay, under here is the leisure battery. Don't know why it's on this black plastic, but and that's the warm air heating pipe, and that's all the electrics. So I'm gonna have to give them, try to sort them out at some point, see what they all do. But, and uh, that's the broken broken itch handle need to replace and uh, in here is the, the awning and the, the metal work for it and the piece of the resistance then this is a, a non-standard non bit so I don't really know what how it was laid out before but these air vents are not doing anything and in here, if I can open it, is, is a consumer unit and the battery charger. I don't know what all that's at. And there's a loose wire in here as well. So I, I imagine that's for that eat that um, water eater. So connect it to that, and then if you have and connect it to the water eater there. So I might have to have a look into that. Uh, so that's the battery charger which is on 240 and is a 240 socket there and a 12 volt socket there and then this is the new bit with all the holes in and it looks like it's been put in and that's my electrics I'm afraid gonna have to might need a bit of hand with that at some point but there you go, and uh, this is the, the roller blind that needs fixing as well. But the sealant in there, just there, is a bit rough, rough, ropey, so I'm going to take it out and reseal it. And there's some damage in the woodwork there, and uh, I imagine that's the table done that, that bit there. And there's some horrible sealer there, so I need to sort that out. I'm not sure what that's doing there. Um, but I need to get that out, I suppose, at some point. Okay, so now we come to the sink. And um, so that's water pumps working all right. And this is the, the cooker. 
and it has um, obviously for health and safety, not and so you don't burn the caravan down. It's got a metal surround, which is a good idea, I suppose. Stops all the muck going onto that. And it's three burners, gas. Okay. And this um, to do with that actually putting a stand of that to hold it up for somewhere to uh, somewhere to do prep for your cooking and that and so that comes off like that. Okay, that come there. Yeah, so all in all, it um, needs a bit of work. And also, all the sealant on the roof, that needs sorting. And loads of mildew on this. And there's a couple of springs missing. One off that side and one off the back. Because the roof doesn't stay up on its own. Not without using a prop to hold it up. So first thing to do is try to get, um, so these are the two roof props what came with the van, what the man was using, which is, yeah, okay. But I think I'd like to have it right. And also I'd like to get this roof lining off and see if I can get some of this mildew off it, clean, give it a clean or whatever. And also here, then that needs, that needs all cleaning off. But it's, I think it's all there. It's going to be a winter project f for me. And um, I'll, I will um, upload, if anyone's interested, obviously, I shall upload uh, the refurbishment of this caravan using the same, as much as, as the original as I can. I, can. Uh, I don't... <sighs> Yeah, something wrong here. Look, something terribly wrong here. Gap here. It's pushing up there, I think. I don't know. But anyway, that's the, that's the, that's it basically. Uh, if anyone's got one of these caravans, it might be useful to see how I, how I get on. <laughs>